Of all the questionable COVID treatments we've told you about, none have been more controversial than ivermectin. Yeah, tonight, CBS 17's Jody McCrary is digging deeper into a Duke study that's trying to figure out once and for all if it actually does work. One Duke doctor says people have been taking ivermectin without knowing for sure how effective it is. So he hopes this study can settle that for good. And so we're aiming to find out one way or another, um, does it have a role? And if so, um, what is it? Duke doctor Adrian Hernandez is a leader of the Active 6 study. It looks at how well three common drugs work against COVID. It started over the summer, and since then, more than 2,500 people across the U.S. have taken part. Active 6 uh, is uh, really aiming to understand how to treat mild to moderate COVID-19 illness uh, in a clinical trial setting where um, people can get drugs at home. In addition to ivermectin, the other drugs under review are the antidepressant fluvoxamine and the asthma medicine fluticasone. Those three chosen because they don't react with other medicines. We really have to study uh, drugs that um, have been proven to be safe at the dose uh, that for humans and uh, taking anything else uh, is really high risk. The biggest name is ivermectin. It's main use killing parasites. It's not approved for COVID. But despite that, some vaccine skeptics have latched onto it, even taking larger doses meant for animals. Right now, we, we really think it's important to study it since it has been used uh, by clinicians and people around the U.S. and around the world. He says they hope to have at least some results in the next month. Uh, the more we volunteer for these efforts, uh, the sooner we can have answers for everyone else. If you've tested positive in the past 10 days and had symptoms for less than a week, you could take part in the study. Click on this story online to find out how. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary.